Before this video starts, if you could please leave a like down below. If you're going to do it, do it now. Why not do it now? Also, go down below in the description. Check out Ricky Iolucci's SoundCloud. The two songs that you're listening to in this video today will be down below in the description as well, so you can go and listen to those songs independent of this video. So if you want to hear it better, you can listen to it there. And you can also listen to other tracks by him. He's a really great guy, and he makes really good music. So go ahead and check that out. What's going on guys? This is David here. In today's video, we're going to be teaching you guys how to jailbreak iOS 10.1 through 10.2 using Yalu 10.2 in beta. So before we start the video, I do want to highlight that this is a beta. One very important thing to note is that this is a pre-release. This is not the final release. This does not mean 100% that it is 100% okay for you to go about doing this. So please, before we start today's video, please know what you're doing and ensure yourself that you're not gonna mess anything up. This probably won't mess anything up on your device, but just keep in mind that this is not like jailbreaks of the past where uh, it's a single release and it is what it is. It's stable and you can use it. This might crash. It might do a bunch of other things. It's it, it might not be 100% stable like you're used to. So just keep that in mind when doing this. And that's kind of why this video has been uh, delayed for as long as it has. Because if you know anything about what's been going on, this was actually out for quite a long time, like a few weeks now. And so I delayed it up until this point because now it has 10.2 support and now it has mobile substrate support built right into it. So now it is more stable. But what you want to do is ensure that your device is on 10.1 through 10.2. Two, and then also plug in your device to the computer. While I was making this video, earlier today, Luca decided to update Yalu 10.2 to work with all 64-bit devices except for three of them. Those three are the iPhone 7, the iPhone 7 Plus, and the iPad Air 2. The iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus will in the future work on iOS 10.1.1 and iOS 10.1 using Yalu 10.2 because Yalu 10.2 will work still with 10.1 and 10.1.1. However, the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus will not work on Yalu 10.2 on iOS 10.2. If you have an iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus on 10.2, you will not be able to jailbreak using Yalu 10.2, unfortunately. So now we can go ahead and go over to our computer and what we want to do is we want to go ahead and bring up whatever browser we want, whether it's Google Chrome, Safari, whatever, it doesn't matter. Go ahead and go down below in the description to the link, the first link in the description. You also want to plug in your device to wait until iTunes recognizes it or not, it doesn't matter, but the link, the, fir the first link is yalu.qwertyuriop.com and then you guys can see it says beta 1, but it is up to beta 3 now. This is actually an older video though. Um, so the second link you want to go to is cityaimpactor.com. So you want to grab Cydia Impactor for uh, whatever device you're using, whether it's a Mac, uh, a Windows machine, a Linux machine, whatever. I have a Mac, so we would do Mac. And then you can also go over to the GitHub page, the code page where it says code will actually bring you over to the GitHub project. And that's where you can see all of the various different, you know, Xcode project and code and stuff like that. Um, it is quote unquote incomplete though, but it is obviously a lot more stable than it used to be, which is why I'm making this tutorial now. The next thing you want to do also, this is the third link down below in the description. Uh, in case you want to, you don't have to, um, but in case you want to, you can go ahead and make a different Apple ID um, for this. You can create a separate Apple ID, a throwaway Apple ID. This will ensure that none of your information is compromised. Also, if you have two-factor authentication enabled on your Apple ID, go ahead and disable that because this will not work if that's on or create a new Apple ID. But all you want to do is put in your username and password and then it will go ahead and do this. Impactor wants to export key access, so go ahead and press allow. It's going to sign the .ipa and you guys should see it's going to go ahead and go over to my device in a few seconds. It should go ahead and appear on my device. There it is, Yalu 10.2. And so now, before we can open that, we're going to go ahead and go to the settings. Settings, general, 
and go to profiles and device management and now go to my Apple ID and also hit trust. So once we do that, we're gonna hit trust again. And once we do that, now we can open the application. If you don't do that step before you try to open the application, the application will not open. It'll basically just say, trust this uh, enterprise certificate in order to uh, open the app. So we did that. So now it says Galu by QWERTY URIOPZ and Mac Ogressi. Uh, so we could go ahead and press go. It says for all iOS 10 up to 10.2 pre iPhone 7. So you guys can see I am on an iPhone 6S. So uh, we can go ahead and just press on go. This could fail a few times. Uh, it failed a few times for me. It does say failed retry. You guys can see uh, that if it does fail, it will go ahead and just restart. So if it does fail for you the first couple times, just keep trying it. Uh, as long as you're using a device and a firmware that is supported, uh, it will work. So just keep trying, it will eventually work. Um, like I said, it could fail a few times. It's all just, I guess, depending on uh, your luck. But if it fails a few times, just don't let that discourage you. Um, this jailbreak will end up working. You also don't need to get out of iCloud, like sign out of iCloud or turn off your password in order to make this work. Just keep trying, but it failed again, so it's restarting the device once again. Um, and I got this to work on the third try. So if it doesn't work after three tries, don't get discouraged. Uh, results may vary, I guess. Um, it worked for me on the third try, but like I said, just keep trying, eventually it probably will work. But here we go. So this is the third try. I'm gonna enter in my password and swipe over. And here's Yalu102. We're gonna go ahead and press on go. Now, if it hangs up at this go for a little while, uh, it's not that it's not working. It's just It just might take a little while. So don't get discouraged by this also. This probably means it's working if it's hanging up on this. Um, and eventually, if it does work, you should see that the screen goes black. And then there's a little loading symbol that pops up eventually and it starts to reboot so there's the loading symbol and when you come back onto your device you should see that Cydia is on your home screen so we're just gonna have to wait this out and there it is so it resprung we're gonna go ahead and swipe over and there is Cydia so it's actually kind of interesting for whatever reason I couldn't get into the Yalu 10.2 application the first couple times I tried but eventually I got into it um, and when you get into it and it's jailbroken, it says, are you jailbroken? So I want to show you guys that I am jailbroken on iOS 10.2 and it's really cool because I didn't think it was going to be this simple guys. There it is. We have Cydia. So we can go ahead and tap on Cydia and it's loading. There it is. We can scroll all the way down to the bottom and it says iPhone 8 comma one iOS 10.2 Cydia 32, blah, blah, blah. We can go ahead and go into all these different things and the awesome part about this version of the jailbreak is uh, the City of Respring actually is fixed. Now, if you were following um, the other version of this jailbreak, the City of Respring was actually an issue, uh, but this is a semi untethered jailbreak. So if you turn off the device, what happens? So we're gonna show you guys that. So we turn off the device and we're gonna turn it back on. But as I was actually saying, uh, there's an issue with City of Respring in the initial version of the jailbreak where um, if you installed something and it said restart springboard and you tapped on that, a regular jailbreak would respring your device. But this just happened to not respring. So you would have to basically just hard reset. Also in this version of the jailbreak, mobile substrate is enabled by default. Now this is something that in the initial version of the jailbreak was not actually uh, enabled by default. And there was this whole situation with this guy by the name of IJAP. He went and uh, basically released a package that enabled Substrate and there were a lot of issues with that. So here's Cydia, again, I rebooted um, and it's crashing. So we can go ahead and tap on Yalu 10.2, tap on the go um, inside of the app. And this will go ahead and respring our device back into a jailbroken state. We can use all of our tweaks again. Cydia can be used again. Now this is really actually nice because uh, prior to having Substrate uh, supported by default, um, you would have to go and install IJAP Substrate Fix if you wanted to use tweaks, and that would just be an extra step because you would then have to, uh, once you tapped on the app, on the Mac Portal app, you would then have to separately go and tap on the Substrate Fix icon and it would respring again. Um, so it's just an extra step, but I'm going to show you guys 
Uh, here's Barrel. I'm gonna show you guys that it is installable and City Respring works just fine. So here I'm installing Barrel. I'm gonna show you guys that process. And now we can go ahead and tap on Restart Springboard and it should successfully respring our device. Now don't get you know confused or worried if you see uh, there's a little just loading symbol, loading icon, uh, and there's no Apple logo. In iOS 10 by default, if you respring your device, it just gives you that symbol and it does not give you an Apple logo. So we're back on our device, it resprung. We didn't get an Apple logo, but it's okay. There it is, Barrel's working perfectly fine on iOS 10.2. Um, it's great, it's great to see the TV app on my device and Barrel at the same time. Even though I don't really use the TV app, I am actually, I think, gonna show you guys that. So we're gonna go ahead and tap on the TV app. And it is legit, there it is. Welcome to the TV app, continue. It just crashed, I'm not really sure why. Uh, but you guys can see, uh, I wasn't kidding when I said I don't use it because there's literally nothing there. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of an interesting app because like Apple added another thing that we probably aren't going to use most of us. Uh, but yeah, so I am on iOS 10.2. I am jailbroken thanks to Yalu 10.2. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If this video was informative, helpful, or entertaining to you at all in any way, please smash that like button down below. Also, feel free to go ahead and subscribe so you can see more awesome tutorials like this. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. Are you happy that this jailbreak's stable? Until next time, this is David, signing out. Peace. Whew! That took way longer than it should have.